So let's go on everyone, AntCap24 here from playbook.gg. In the next couple of videos, I wanna go over some concepts that you often see in real life that don't translate as well to Madden that you don't see very often and how we can improve them to make sure that you can use them on the virtual gridiron. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel and you wanna win more games playing Madden, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to also click that bell icon to make sure you never miss any of our videos. Now, the first concept we're going to look at can be found in the medium pass and it's going to be called drive now drive is a two route combination it's going to consist of an inside receiver usually the tight end that's going to be on a dig route or deep in and then somebody just to the right of them on a um, drag pattern okay if I go through the the options here in this playbook what you're going to see is that it's typically going to be compressed whether that means it's going to be out of a bunch, whether it's going to be something out of strong wing on the bottom, you want the drag route to be as close to the in route as possible. As you can see in the second example here with FL Drive, the um, drag route is basically auto motioned in order to get that player as close to the uh, in route. And the reason why that is, is that it's a one two combination where you want the drag to be able to get through the zone first, extending the zones in order to make sure that the in route has a fighting chance of being basically a trail route. You kind of get everybody to either back up or widen out, leaving that player in the middle. Now, in Madden, it's tough. The reason why it's tough is that most people use a middle linebacker user and they can see the entire field. They can see, you know, in front of them, the line of scrimmage like you would see in real life, but they also could see, you know, 40, 50 yards behind them. So they know when uh, routes break, do I need to go backwards? Or if they see that a route, it's supposed to go, you know, down the field to, to back them up, but they actually break to the outside. They can see it better to react. Well, Here's where, um, you know, we're going to go and use the drive concept and use it in the Madden uh, situation to really help you with it. So we're going to look at this play called U Drive Check. And the reason why is it has a really nice option of getting a third level with the post over the middle. Um, it doesn't matter if the post comes from the left side or the right side. And I'll show you that a little bit later in examples of how I like to use this. But you're going to notice that just adding a post on the field is really going to give you the opportunity of opening up the whole play design. So all I'm going to do here is block my running back. And I'm going to show you basically how this works. The first read is always the RB. He's the one that goes over the middle. If you just want to hit him, he's going to typically get two yards on his catch. And because of the A driving back zones and with the B driving them back on the opposite side, we usually can get four to five yards really simply. It's kind of like a glorified first down run, to be honest with you, if you use this in the right context. You see RB goes over, we throw it to him, he gets the ball up the field, and you saw we got about four and a half yards. Really simple, easy read that's going to annoy your opponent. It's going to force them to have to play a little bit lower with their user. Okay. Now, the second route is going to be the A route. When the RB basically extends the zones to the left and the B will take the zones back a little bit as the middle linebackers, you know, basically taught to, you know, respect a slot vertical route. We're going to be able to hit the A on its break in the middle of the field. RB goes over, A goes in the middle, we throw it to him and we get our yards typically about eight to 10 yards on that. That's really what a drive concept is, is kind of, you know, designed to do. It won't work as well in Madden unless you've got that extra route on the field to really make it to where it's something that um, you know a user has to worry about. So if I'm a user and I see that, I've seen this route combination, now I'm going to kind of mimic that I'm going to take away the A, right? It's just something that if we can get them to do that, what you're going to see is that you're going to have a lot more opportunity of hitting the B across the field, right? So here it goes. RB goes this way, A goes this way. Now you're going to see the B, you're going to throw it to him over the middle, right? It's something that you're luring the defense in. And if they don't, you're going to just take it all day underneath. And then if they get to the point where they say, I have to take this away, then you're going with the post route behind it. Now, the reason why I show you this type of concept is because I want to show it to you where you can make this on your own with hot routes, all right? So um, I wanna make sure that I, I kind of illustrate that for you. And the play design that I'm gonna look at is gonna be, let's do Y trips week. I wanna pick a play called PA wide receiver in. If you look at this play, it does not have any 
in routes any drag routes from those players that i was talking about if i was to put the a on a smart routed in rb on a drag i just created a uh, drive concept right well I had this B route that's really, really nice on the right side because it has the ability to basically use it as an S post where he's gonna now be a delayed post route that now gives a little bit more of an element of if they wanna jump on the A or the RB, I have the B going over to the middle of the field, right? Typically speaking, you're gonna to wanna to put the X on a streak, right? Just to go ahead and drive them up. If you wanna get a little bit more advanced, just go ahead and motion them to the inside, and now you've got the ability to drive off a uh, middle of the field safety if it's cover three, or if it's cover two, you're gonna drive that backside safety even further because you're you know, going right down his lane, opening up the beat. Now, I wanna make sure I point out that this is on the right hash mark. The reason why it's on the right hash mark is that the A and the RB are much more compressed on the right hash mark than if I do this on the left hash mark. And this is, goes to the point where I was telling you before. Now. If you look at the RB, he's much more, uh, you know, the splits are much more wide in this alignment that if the A and the RB were running their routes, right, the A would break by the time the RB got to the middle of the field, basically stacking them on top of each other. And that's not what you want. You want one to clear their zone before the other does, right? So I'm just going to go back and kind of show to you how this would work and make sure that you understand how this drive concept is. So I'm going to put the A on the... Um, the uh, in, RB on the drag, block my running back, X on a streak, and move this guy over. So now this is just basically taking real life concept of a drive, adding some Madden routes to it because we need to attack the user in the middle of the field to get our success. First thing you're gonna look at is RB comes across the middle, catches the ball, and we're gonna get ourselves at five, six yards. We had discussed this earlier. It's kind of a glorified run. You know it's as simple of a throw as possible. It's not really meant to really have anything other than to give you easy options, right? Now, the second thing here we can always look at is the, the A route. We've talked about that. And then the B route, right? We've talked about all these routes in, in the previous example. And you're going to see how you're going to be able to make this work, right? So here you go. RB goes across. Then you got the ability to hit this A underneath. If they go to the middle, then you're gonna go ahead and hit this player, right? So you're gonna see here that you're gonna have a lot of options when it comes to how to make easy reads for yourself. This concept is designed to keep the quarterback's eyes in the middle of the field, reading one, two, three. You can see how we did that there. Now, it's really something that I really like to use because of the way that it, it simplifies the game. There's gonna be one more example I wanna show you here. And that example basically is to not go to the inside like we did, but go to the outside, okay? And you're gonna understand what, what am I talking about, right? So go to concept here, we'll go to um, drive, and we're gonna go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Say so we'll go to drive corner. Now with drive corner, we've got the same thing. We've got the ability to, to use the drive concept with the A and the B. What I often see is in compressed sets, what people will do is they see that you've got some type of corner route to the left side of the field, they typically will go and try to cover that themselves as a user, right? So what I'm doing here is I'm just making sure that I put the A on a smart route just to make sure that he goes the, the distance on this. And if when people are running this, they're, you're gonna see a lot of times there are people going to bail out and cover the player that is doing the corner route. So. Whether it's a corner route from a compressed set or a post route that we use as something to get the middle linebacker user out of the field, both are going to work well. So when you see that somebody's going to cover the corner route, now you're waiting for the A to come across the field and you've got that. So it's two different things I like to use the drive concept. First is having a post that comes from the outside in. And then also we can use a corner route when you see that your um, middle linebacker user is really aggressive and feels like maybe you've set them up on corner routes earlier in the game, that you can go ahead and use this concept with the B and the A as an opportunity to basically get a player who vacates a spot and throw it to him as well. So those are the two things that I really like to use with the drive concept. Use the concept itself to really get you easy throws but once you see that you need to move that linebacker one way or another, use the post, use the corner, and you're gonna have a lot of success in Madden 20. Now, if you like this video, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check out these videos below for the most helpful Madden tips. If you're looking to learn from the best players in the world, head over to www.playbook.gg for the most detailed game plans in Madden.